I'm Maria and in today's integration with UbiDots we are going to show you how to control any device remotely using UbiDots and Nordred with a Raspberry Pi. So now let's get started. The requirements for today's videos are an UbiDots account, Raspberry Pi 3 with the latest version of Nordred pre-installed, an LED bulb, resistor, jumping wires, and a protoboard. Now let's check the step by step. Our video today will include four steps. As always, you can find the timestamps and a written guide in the description below. In today's video, we will demonstrate how to control devices with UbiDots, an LED bulb as an example. But remember, that this tutorial is merely your guide to controlling any asset you desire. To begin, use a protoboard to establish the connection between the LED bulb and the resistor. Then use the jumper wires to establish the connection with the Raspberry Pi, following the pinout shown in this diagram. Now it's time to stop now red. First, you need to access the Raspberry Pi. This can be done using SSH. Once you can access the Raspberry Pi, start the NoRed server by running the command NoRed Start. Here we can see the NoRed logs and that the server is running. With the NoRed active in the Pi, you can open NoRed server using your preferred browser. Open any browser and in the URL bar, place the IP address and port identifier assigned from your Pi. In today's example, we are describing an standard remote control capability using Node-RED and UbiDots. To do this application in Node-RED, we need to install the UbiDots node. First, search the UbiDots node from the Manage Palette section. Then, press Install and wait until it finishes. You can find the newly installed node in the palette, here on the left side of the Node-RED interface. Also, you can see the UBIDOTS node is included in both input and output node. Now, it's time to get data from UBIDOTS Cloud Platform. First, we will import the subscribe clipboard from the Node-RED menu. Then, just place it in the Node-RED workflow. To be able to establish the communication with your UBIDOTS account, Assign your UBIDOTS token in the UBIDOTS node, as shown here. Repeat the same process for any other UBIDOTS node. When finished, updating any node, press Done, then Deploy to run the flow. The behavior presented in the first UBIDOTS node is Connecting, then Publish. Now, as you can see, I'm based on the UBIDOTS expected device onboarding, a new device is created automatically in your UBIDOTS account with a variable called control. This variable will be used to control your devices, in this case an LED for show. To complete your control capabilities, you now need to assign a control widget in a UBIDOTS dashboard to manage the device. Go to the dashboard from the device management section to create a new control widget. Press the plus icon located at the right side of the page. Then select control, switch, variable control, then finish. Now with the widget created, you can start interacting with it. Now, as you can see, the LED node reports the status of the light. In this case, 1 is on and 0 means off. For testing reasons, a debug node is also included, activated in order to begin receiving the debugging messages and verify data flow. Following the states of the switch, the behavior presented should be 0, 1, 0. With this final step, we can now see 
with Ulep's control widget, you can control any device. Now, it's your turn to connect your hardware and deploy your IoT Ulep's powered solution. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you have any topic that you are interested in, let us know in the comments below. To learn more about Ubiox integration, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon!